Hello everyone, my name is Akal and I'm a somatic therapist as well as an astrological counselor and I generally help folks along their sexual journeys. Um, so what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the sexual superpower of Leo. Um, now when I'm talking about sexual superpower, basically what I'm talking about is the, how do I describe this, the, the specific uh, sign and how that sign evolves from more sort of personality centered to, um, I guess, one that's more in the flow of things, one that's more connected to spirit. Um, the individual then becomes more connected to their soul and then the soul's guidance. So Leo, to me, is the epitome of, of, this, of this progression and this path. And the thing that when I say that someone's the sexual superpower is very much related to, um, like I said, that individual's progression, because as we evolve as, as you know, essentially um, spirits having a human experience, as we evolve along this life path, our sexual behaviors also change accordingly. Uh, and with Leo, like I said, this is this sign to me is the epitome of this. Um, Essentially, Leo, its progression is from a, from that of a selfish lover to, um, I guess, sensitive service would be a good way to put it. Now, how this, how this all happens is, is quite interesting to me um, because basically you have to look at Leo and in, in, in its rulership, let's say. So the sun. So the sun is ultimately, the, I would say, the frequency of love and wisdom in our solar system. And this frequency of love and wisdom is what Leo is here to truly express. However, that pathway is this movement. You kind of have to look a little bit at cancer, the sign of cancer, which occurs prior to this. The sign of cancer is like, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's diffuse in some ways. The individual in cancer tends to anchor into material things in order to solidify its, its ego and to find security. So it, it's like um, its energies are diffuse. So with Leo, though, this energy becomes concentrated and focused on a point. And so, the, you know, where cancer is more about kind of like mass consciousness in some ways, it's about nurturing people and taking care of people and all this kind of thing uh, and selfless service to some degree. What Leo is actually here to do is to sort of cultivate the great individual in a lot of ways. So it, the individual, the personality, the ego becomes that expression of love and wisdom, that which is the sun, which rules the entire solar system. I shouldn't say rules, but is the, uh, the overarching uh, over, I guess, the, the biggest influence in our solar system. So this progression for Leo is about how you know so well, let me back this up a little bit so it really is about the about how leo changes in terms of their self-consciousness this is an incredibly self-conscious sign so all the negative characteristics that come to come along with leo uh self-centered all you know if you're a leo native you know the generalizations self-centered egotistical self-serving um, they want all the attention. There's a lot of negatives about Leo in terms of uh, the descriptions and, and some of the positive descriptions, you know, sort of kingly and, you know, um, you know, tend to be very successful and these kinds of things. Those are also good. But, you know, again, everything, these sorts of descriptions, these attributes tend to just describe the personality in a lot of ways. So Leo is here in a lot of ways to exemplify that personality and to um, essentially learn how to connect the personality to spirit. So it may become a channel for spirit. Uh, now that requires them to connect to the soul. And now when I'm talking about the soul, I'm talking about this intermediary between spirit, which is kind of like a light uh, or energy in general, as it manifest through our form. Now, the soul is kind of like the subconscious. It's that deeper, more, it's that deeper self that, that is more connected to the spirit. So when we start being guided by intuition and things like that, we start to be guided by spirit because we're connecting to our soul, that deeper self, that deeper aspect. Um, so Leo's progression moves from this like me, me, me kind of thing 
you know, that, that happens early on. And as they kind of get life lessons, um, they get the big beat down or the humbling, you know, what ends up happening is, is that they become, well, I shouldn't even say they become, Leos are inherently sensitive. Uh, when people say Leos are insensitive, I'm like, no, they're not. They're incredibly self-conscious. A lot of the egoic shit that gets generalized about Leo, excuse me, saying shit, just said it again. Uh, a lot of the generalizations that we make about Leo um, in terms of them being self-centered, et cetera, you know, a lot of that is defense mechanism. You know, it's sort of like the ego feels fragile and vulnerable. So naturally it blows itself up and becomes something grandiose. So in this particular, what ends up happening with Leo, though, is they gain a little bit of objectivity. Something interesting happens. They start to recognize how the environment is affecting them. That's step one. Step two is they start to recognize how they and their will is Leo is very much about expressing their own will and it's their creativity and their creative will. It's their ability to, to uh, be this creative expression, which is the sun and how it shines out on the material plane. So as Leo progresses, it not only recognizes how they're impacted by their environment in their senses, this is also a very sensual placement, uh, it also begins to realize how its will is impacting others. And it becomes more and more and more sensitive as time goes along. Again, the assumption here is that the, these individuals are trying to cultivate some awareness, uh, consciousness, meditation, yoga, tai chi, qigong, whatever it is that they, they choose, they're cultivating something. They're cultivating this sensitivity. So as the sensitivity becomes progressively more cultivated, then what ends up happening is they start to realize the deeper vibe, the deeper signal. Uh, and the deeper signal here is, again, that expression of the soul. And then they start to recognize how spirit is leading them. And here's the interesting thing. Because Leo is ruled by the sun, which, again, I said before, is love and wisdom, what they learn to express outward becomes that love and wisdom. And eventually they start to take advantage. Of, so they start to take advantage, I guess, in some ways of the polarity that exists between Leo and Aquarius because they are opposites. Um, you know, you could say they're not opposites in a, the truest sense is that we all, all experience this back and forth. Like I'm a Pisces and I naturally experience some Virgo like qualities. Um, there's always this, this back and forth between the poles. So when it comes to Leo, it's not that they're trying to become Aquarius or anything like that necessarily, but Aquarius represents that sort of more like group consciousness, where Leo is the self-consciousness. I hope that makes sense. So as self-consciousness becomes cultivated and recognizes its impact on the world, because that's what Leo is here to do, is to recognize their impact, they start to serve group consciousness. Um, you know, and, and that becomes... I guess in a lot of ways, the cause. So sexually speaking, what is this? I would say Leos, when they're young, first start having sex, it's kind of plug and chug. You know, they have a lot of energy, but I, I don't, and perhaps a lot of passion. And, but I probably, I would say they probably think they're better lovers than what they are. Uh, again, it's, <laughs> it's that grandiosity, right? Uh, they probably think they're, like I said, they probably think they're better lovers than what they are. Um, I would say they're probably selfish lovers initially. Um, and, you know, in, in whether or not they're vigorous, they, they, I would say they probably have some good staying power, you know, but they also might be a little overly vigorous. It is a fire sign, but they may have good stamina, um, but they might discharge too quickly. That's another possibility. Uh, I don't want to get into it too much about the, the sexual on a personality level. What becomes more interesting than me is that Le as Leo becomes objective, they start to connect to spirit. And, and, and how does that affect their relationship with their partners? Well, they can become very considerate. They become magnanimous. That's, a, that's probably like my favorite term for, for like Leos who become cultivated. They have this really rich, warm energy. I mean, what comes out of their mouth sometimes can be kind of gruff and sort of like <laughs> egoic. 
but their actions will betray them in that regard and that they can become, like I said, very magnanimous, very giving, very generous. And um, so when, as a lover, they progress into becoming extremely, extremely giving, extremely sensitive lovers. And again, I could see like, these would be like master tantrics on some level in terms of like, if they can channel that fire and that richness and that, that sort of, uh, again, that stamina and that vigor all into like how they make love, it could be amazing. So, you know, like I said, it, it's, it, it was really hard for me to kind of like talk about their sexual energy in this video because so much about Leo to me is about that expression of their soul. And there's really no way around it. They have to, they have to learn to cultivate their soul. Otherwise, you know, they're going to be living life and they're going to get, they're going to, like I said, they're going to get humbled. Think about Napoleon. You know, Napoleon's downfall was quite a, and probably embarrassing for him, but you know, he, he finally got his, his ASS beaten, uh, you know, but this is after he had like Napoleon desserts named after him and you know, whatever else, but he was this very grandiose character who was actually a tiny man who really had an ego that was tremendously huge. And so, like I said, Napoleon was humbled through life. And this is what happens with a lot of Leos is they become, they get humbled. And if they don't know how to deal with the humbling, you know, it could be kind of a wreck. You know, become very disastrous and they can become like real a-holes in my opinion. But like I said, if, if they cultivate that energy, the love and the warmth that you can feel from like Leo natives is, is amazing and it's beautiful. So with all that said, if you're a Leo watching this, meditate, become very present, allow the sensitivity, don't block it, don't shut it down because you'll be an amazing lover if you do so. So with all that said, Hopefully you watch this, you enjoyed this video rather. Thank you much.